All right, Tom, thanks. As school shootings continue to impact communities across the country, there's heightened concerns over students and staff safety. Missouri lawmakers are working on a bill that would add more security measures to school districts statewide. Color 10's Joshua Pineda live in Springfield this morning explaining what this would look like and what upgrades are already underway at the largest school district in the state. Josh. Jesse, this week the House passed a bill that requires schools statewide to install bullet resistant doors and windows by the 2024 2025 school year. I spoke with Springfield Public School District officials who say safety and security are a top priority. So we'll be watching that closely and just like any piece of legislation we'll be working um, with those entities to make sure it would be rolled out effectively. But the good news is Springfield voters have approved the resources necessary to take immediate steps. As part of a wide ranging public safety bill, Missouri schools will be required to install bullet resistant doors for all first floor entryways and bullet resistant glass for each exterior window large enough for an intruder to enter. Across the country, 14 school shootings have taken place this year, according to educationweek.org. Many schools in the Ozarks have already taken measures to ensure the safety of their students and staff. SPS, along with 10 other school districts, will have more funding since voters approved bond issues issues in the April municipal election, which will go towards safety and security upgrades starting next school year. Um, upgraded security cameras, uh, door sensors and alarms, uh, also for roof access sensor and alarms, and then most importantly would be the shatter resistant film that we will be applying to all ground floor windows at every SPS school. Now, Josh, that legislation we spoke about here, we know it still needs to be passed in the Senate and it needs to be signed by Governor Parson before any actions would take place. But how would something like this even be paid for? Well, Jesse, the state is in a budget surplus, and as you just mentioned, it will need to pass in the Senate and sign into law by the governor. But if that does happen to be true, then the state would be the ones to fund this through the Classroom Trust Fund, and it would cost the state around $5 million, but could easily exceed that amount. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Joshua Pineda, Ozarks First.